next, all you do is have to make sure that you still have the lights in the scene. Okay? So those lights have to be there. This thing has to sit in the center of the circle. So the circle's way out here. And I got this axe. Okay? Now we need to go into the rendering options. And I need to turn on features, final gathering. And the quality, well, I need that to be production quality. Production quality with final gathering, and that means custom. Okay? There we go. So to get an idea what this looks like, let's just render this out. And it's going to be really wicked bright. It's going to be crazy light floating all the way around the room. And it's going to look really ugly while it renders. This is the final gather. It's like bouncing light across the room and into... That's what this ball is for. It's to contain light within an area. And I know this looks so so new and shiny. almost looks like a paladin axe. But really, this can be used as a base later for a lot of different textures on top of it. So... The only thing I see is the ambient is just a little too high, so I'm just going to turn that down just a little bit. And I'm going to trust that's good. Okay, next we're going to go to lighting under rendering tab. So lighting, batch bake mental ray, square box. I'm going to make sure I save my scene. And this is what I need. I need this time light and color. X color 3, 4096, TIFF, number of samples 4, baked to 1 map. Final gathering quality 1. Normal to 0 to 1 ratio. This will uh, speed it up. The last render I had was actually full range or entire range. Since I'm only dealing with this quadrant of UVs right here for the axe, uh, that's actually 0 to 1 and 1 to 1 would be the entire grid. Okay, so there we go. Looks good. Remember, not baked shadows and light and color. Those are the most important ones. All right, so what's going to happen is, same with ambient occlusion, this is going to take a really freaking long time, and then afterwards we're going to have this really cool texture that to play with. And then we're going to put more textures on top just to play around. So see you in the next video.